Hello dear NDLP members or visitors and welcome back to another session of our advanced reading course uh, on the basis of for and against. In this session I'm going to teach one of the uh, units of this great course book. It's all about meritocracy. Meritocracy is a kind of let's say treating people on the basis of their merits and abilities not age or connections it's based on principles uh, let me show you the flashcards possible mm. uh, okay despite means in spite of the fact that as you can see that this person is old but uh, I suppose she yes but uh, lively and full of energy so there is a contrast here and that's it okay for and against is a great book to help you to just build your vocabulary in preparation for the IELTS particularly IELTS because it is British based all right unit 22 okay I forgot to just shut down this contact me uh, module okay you can use that in order to contact me for my online classes on LELP Society at, as you can see, LELP.net. <coughs> okay, Unit 22, people should be rewarded uh, according to their ability, not according to their age or experience. Okay. Uh, young men and women today are finding it more hold on make some changes okay now it's better I just increase the brightness of my screen find it more and more necessary to protest against what is known as the establishment establishment with capital E uh, refers to the government and also the authorities who are in charge they protest against it means they show their opposition or lack of satisfaction uh, that is also you can say raise a sting or to show that you are not satisfied that is the people who wield power in our society wield power means exert influence let me write it down with the help of the digital blackboard that you are familiar with exert influence okay in our society clashes with the authorities or establishment are reported almost daily in the press clash means disagreement friction tension okay objection the tension that exists between old and young could certainly be lessened or mm, let's say less serious could be made less serious if some of the most obvious causes were removed yeah there is a kind of generation gap here but not for example uh, in the way people i mean the old and the young just uh, try to communicate with each other but in the way they try to wield power or exert influence in particular the establishment should adopt different attitudes to work and the rewards it brings adopt or choose or use or employ different treatment or let's say the way they try to get things done today's young people are ambitious that's true and why not ambitious they have ambitions it means they just want to succeed 
very fast. Many are equipped with fine educations. They are well educated and are understandably impatient to succeed as quickly as possible. They are extraordinarily understandably impatient. It means reasonably impatient. It means they just want to make rapid improvements. And they want to be able to have their share of the good things. Their ratio, R-A-T-I-O, uh, or part or section of things in life when they are still young, young enough to enjoy them. The establishment, however, has traditionally believed that people should be rewarded according to their age and experience. So they should gain that experience and it takes so much time in a way that they are they will not be young anymore by the time they will have received that, that experience ability counts counts for less it's not that important in comparison to your age and experience according to the government or establishment as the establishment controls the purse strings Purse strings refers refers to uh, controls over finances, financial issues that are controlled by the establishment. Its views are inevitably imposed on society, so they just dominate the society with their rules and principles. Employers pay the smallest sum consistent with keeping you in a job. Uh, that sum refers to that purse strings so em employers instead of for example giving or uh, paying more uh, or let's say higher taxes they do not uh, make a great contribution they pay small or nominal also you can say nominal nominal sum nominal sum means inconsiderable sum consistent with keeping means in connection with keeping you in a job okay you join the hierarchy and take your place in the queue queue means line so there is a line and you cannot you cannot get get on top of the uh, line it takes time and there is no shortcut if you are young you go to the very end of the queue and stay there no matter how brilliant you are, how smart, intelligent, skillful, it's not important. What you know is much less important than whom you know, pay attention, uh, whom you know and how old you are. That is to say, actually, the principles are not that important. Connections are important. With whom you are connected, or to whom you are connected. Whom you know. Uh, these are the things that matter to the uh, establishment. If you are able, your abilities will be acknowledged and rewarded in due course. If you are uh, competent actually your ad abilities will be acknowledged it means admired and understood and valued and rewarded they pay uh, price for that in due course means expected course of time uh, that is after 20 or 30 years have passed or elapsed it takes so much time it is sarcastic you know ironic by that time you will be considered old enough to join the establishment and you will be expected to adopt its ideals so when you get old because after 20 or 30 years actually you will not be young anymore 
you will be considered old enough or mature enough according to this actually sarcastic or ironic message to join the establishment and you will be expected to adopt its ideals or policies that are ideal to them God help you if you don't so you have to obey the rules and let's say blend in with the situation otherwise only God knows that what will happen pay attention to this structure God help why not God helps because God is actually a single entity here and also it is singular so it, it must receive an S but because of the fact that actually it's a kind of pray uh, prayer it's pray you know and because of that might or may has been omitted so we cannot give order to God to God so you can say God might help you God might bless you that's why we say God bless you we don't say God blesses you because it, the original sentence has been something like this that God might help you God may bless you uh, there seems to be a gigantic conspiracy against young people gigantic means very huge colossal let me write colossal means colossal means big bulky massive gigantic pay attention to this structure if a word is latin based not germanic but latin based pay attention if g is followed by i and e um, it is pronounced j not g if it is before or followed by a okay it is g so why not gigantic but gigantic because of the fact that first of all gigantic is a latin base word it's not like give because give give for example is a germanic word so this rule does not apply to that but if it is latin based and there are many latin based words in english so the same rule can apply to all of them okay this huge conspiracy or deceitful plan or secret plan conspiracy or collusion let me write collusion against young people so there is always some conspiracy or collusion against young people okay while on the one hand society provides them with better educational facilities on the other it does its best to exclude them it refers to establishment to exclude them from the jobs that really matter that that are really important so they do not include the establishment does not include the young it just excludes them there are exceptions of course some young people do manage to break through the barrier despite the restrictions and what are those exceptions some young people do manage to manage to means are able to to for example find a solution to a problem to break through to penetrate to go through to to be present in the barrier actually and to uh, penetrate permeate uh, the barrier or obstacle obstacle despite it means although there are some limitations but the great majority have to wait patiently in that queue for years before they can really give full reign to their abilities uh, mm, this is an idiom or let's say expression they can really give full reign to it means they can just have enough freedom to do what they really want so rain is a kind of is a symbol of control or freedom you know 
they 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 think that they are in control and they are not controlled by others and they have this freedom that really that they deserve actually to do their uh, to do whatever they want this means that in most fields the views of young people are never heard they are not actually processed because there is no one to represent them to just be uh, a representative of the views of the young people it means the old do, do not care all important decisions about how society is to be run are made by people who are too old to remember what it was like to be young <laughs> it's clear but so funny uh, uh, it says that actually the, the, the old who want to make necessary decisions of the society uh, from the side of the young are so old that they cannot remember what, was, what it was like to be young. President Kennedy, John F. Kennedy, uh, John F. Kennedy was one of the notable exceptions. <coughs> Notable means prominent exceptions. One of the most tragic aspects of his assassination, because he was assassinated or killed, is that mankind was deprived of a youthful leader. Mankind does not have or possess a young leader. Resentment or scorn or hatred, hostility, is the cause of a great deal of bitterness the cause of a huge amount of or a great deal of bitterment the young resent the old because they feel deprived of the good things life has to offer it means actually the old and the young resent each other uh, because of some special reasons it means that the young resent the old because they feel deprived they think that they are deprived of and they they are not let uh, have something that they really deserve the good things life has to offer and on the other hand the old resent the young pay attention to this structure the plus adjective and the noun is omitted and a plural verb it means no s at the end for example the poor are the the rich have a lot of for example facilities you don't need to say the rich people because it is clear so the old resent it means the old people resent the young again actually the young people because they are afraid of losing what they have they are materialistic they want to stick to what they have and their possessions ownerships properties a man of 50 or so might say why should a young rascal straight out of school earn more than i do this is a stupid question but anyway it exists they say why a, a young rascal it means a uh, a child immediately after school for example uh, who does not uh, or let's say treat others in a correct way or who is not well behaved that child is not well behaved immediately after school so that the child is so young why should he earn more money than I do but if the young rascal is more able or capable more determined or resolute or decided harder working let me resolute uh, diligent means hard working then he's middle-aged critic a person who criticizes him why shouldn't he if he has those capabilities why shouldn't he earn more money that's why I have chosen meritocracy as the title of this actually uh, reading course. 
employers should recognize ability and reward it justly in a just and fair way employers uh, corresponding to their employees this would remove one of the biggest causes of friction tension clashes between the old and the young and ultimately finally it would lead to a better society it will cause or result in a better society thank you very much for your attention pay attention to this point that you can always leave comments if you have any question there is a button there is a, a comment form at the bottom of the post for each unit or lesson I create a post and then I embed this video file uh, on the same post so that you can also read the whole text and listen to my uh, let's say teaching and also remember that you can contact me for my classes particularly if you are in Iran because I live in Iran and I can help you a lot you can save a lot of uh, time money and energy you don't need to attend real classes and some of them actually are of low quality as a matter of fact I'm sure you know what I'm talking about and please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube and Opera channel to receive further English lessons and this is uh, these are some uh, recent flashcards that I have uploaded on my uh, Instagram so if you just follow me on Instagram you will be able to have access to them utilize means to use dense thick theory descend villain and some others and in order to contact me Skype telegram Instagram YouTube Facebook and Twitter all right thank you very much for your attention i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial or video and take care